Hello everyone, my name is um, Thomas Leonetti and I am a data analyst at Advisa, which is a web agency in Strasbourg, France. Um, today I would like to introduce you to the very important topic, which is data-driven UX. We can even talk about a revolution. You, you won't be able to do UX design anymore without thinking about data first. But first of all, here is a quick presentation of who I am. So, um, I am an agnostic, secular, social democrat, humanist, universalist for European federalism, proud to be French for euthanasia, for organ donation, I benefited from it, against death penalty for gay marriage and adoption, close to the German social democrats, pro Obama, against the second war in Iraq, uh, and for two Israeli and Palestinian states on the 67 borders, against sects, not against sex, against sects, against negationism of all kind, uh, for humor, co humor covering all religions, uh, believe it was Al-Qaeda who made, who made September 11, and I've also been an SEO expert for 10 years. I've been speaker at several conferences, including the Web, Webcam Day at SEO Campus in Paris. I am an SEO teacher at the universe and the Strasbourg University and in different private web school in Strasbourg. I've been immersed in data analysis since 2012 and um, it is now an integral part of my job. And it, it's in this faraway land uh, that I want to take you today. Uh, Brenda Laurel, who is a famous UX designer, said uh, design isn't finished until somebody is using it. For many years, UX designer missions have emerged as one of the key success factors in the web design. Um, audits, user tests, user stories, uh, everything is done uh, to better understand the needs of web users. However, you can't miss the data analysis. And this upstream all of, uh, of all of your web project creation or redesign of your website. It is now necessary to understand why data matters. So why data matters? Today it, it is impossible to build a UX strategy without thinking about the data. The two are intertwined and respond together to the user's intentions, analyzing them in depth and extracting new ideas from it. I'm not saying that UX designers only analyze the superficial layer of things. Uh, to the contrary, I deeply believe that UX designers often go deep into what users feel and look for. But as they dig into the users in odds, uh, they forget the essential, the facts. And even if we can't always talk about the margins of error of Google Analytics, it is essential that UX designers mix facts and figures with the data collected in audits or user tests. So, a quick definition of concepts. Why UX make the web better for humans? UX is simply the essence of creating a website. You can't create a website that meets users' intention without using a UX designer. It is now simply impossible. And why data? How does data is so related to UX and why does UX designer have to learn data analysis? UX designers must perfect the, their data analysis skills to complete their knowledge and above all to set a course for their mission but they are not only they are not the only ones who need to improve their skills in this area what are the others other stakeholders in a web agency now need to work on understanding what data analysis is all about the ceo and to say anticipating is in his job, the data should hold no secrets for him. Product manager, building a prototype can be done without knowing the users. UX designer, I have said before, wireframes, card sorting, user tests, user stories, all this can only be done by correlating with them with data. 
DevOps, DevOps must understand the big data and its evolution. And Scrum Master, you can only manage a project well when you know the char characteristics of the end users. And if we take a closer look at the work of uh, UX designers, uh, let's decipher what the different qualities level of a UX design mission are, in which they can fully integrate data analysis. So, what is the minimum viable UX? Just wireframing. Building wireframe is an essential prerequisite. Building a wireframe will allow you to define a precise structure for your page and shape a navigation path for users. The standard, standard UX include uh, wireframing and tracking. Analytics tracking will allow you to correlate your, your UX work with statistical data. Tracking your data is essential. And I'm not only talking about Google Analytics, there are also all the platforms such as Metamo or uh, Omniture. Understanding how they work is essential to go further in your UX design service delivery. Sophisticated UX include, includes wireframing, tracking and user stories. User stories focus, uh, focus uh, uh, the projects on the perspective of, of those who will use it. A user story describes something that the user wants uh, to accomplish by using the software, the software product. They originated up as part of the Agile and Scrum development strategies, but for designers, they mainly serve as reminders of user goals, and this is a way to organize and prioritize how each screen is designed. And the full tilt UX includes wireframing, Tracking, user stories, and user research. Um, great UX design is grounded in great user research, driver, driven by user insights while balancing priority, priorities and technical feasibility. Um, user research helps uncover important and useful insights about the user and their needs. Until you know your user and their needs, emotions, feelings, struggles, etc., you won't be able to deliver a great user experience. Now, that we have laid the foundation for a complete and relevant UX design mission, let's dive into the most important KPIs to understand as an UX designer. You have to know that everything is measurable. Four KPIs that will answer four fundamental questions. The bounce rate. Why my users rejected my content? My UX. My navigation path. The duration time. Did users like my content? Did users like my article, my blog article? The conversion, the conversion rate. Has my content convinced users to buy on my site? And the loyalty rate. That they often forget by the uh, UX designers and data analysts. Have customers become attached to my brand and my products? There is now four major questions to ask you as a UX designer. And now we will deep into the, dive into uh, the data the data drive on UX, the main subject, the main topic of my presentation. What can we do with a data-driven UX? Data-driven UX allows you to respond to several common misconceptions. I know my users. It's a must when it comes to finding out what the target audience uh, prefers and not an easy task and designers often overdo this part. The problem start with them willing to fulfill every single need and consider all the possible variables. But remember that designers aren't users. You have to keep uh, the focus on the users and not what are you thinking about, about your wireframe and about your user stories and about all the misconception you could have uh, into this um, into the data analysis. Data is for managers. 
some people think to assume that a designer makes user testing useless. The designer is a sorcerer who sits in front of a PC and a couple of months later when both strike out from the screen and the servers crash from the incoming traffic. After all, the designer will come up with something super and the users will surely like it, obviously not. Remember that um, data is not only for managers. Data is for all the stakeholders chain in, in website creation, in website redesign. Uh, you, don't, you, you don't have to forget that data is essential to everybody in, um, in website redesign, from the client to the DevOps uh, to the uh, uh, Scrum Master. Um, data is now the core of all of your um, UX uh, missions. You have to remember that. And there is a big problem now with your designers um, but before um, talking about the solution, the problem and the solution, uh, remember that quote uh, from Hillman Curtis, uh, which is a, a famous designer. The goal of a designer is to listen, observe, understand, sympathize, empathize, synthesize, and glean insights that enable him or her or her to make the invisible visible. You have to know that. Um, when a UX designer is thinking about a wireframe, um, is thinking about um, uh, some of the site website skeleton, um, is, think is thinking or she's thinking about how the users will see the invisible goal uh, behind which is hiding, which is hiding in the, in the wireframe. So remember that the users have to see the invisible and the invisible is the the thin um, path between a home page and a uh, um, a checkout you know and what is the problem now with the data drive on ux it's that many ux designers focused on one-to-one -one activities uh, or user tests user stories or website audits. However, it is essential that they understand analytics. That is the problem. But the solution is that you have to, as a UX designers, integrate data analysis at the very beginning of US, UX project. Um, you have to to train uh, in uh, on the um, the Google Analytics uh, website, uh, which is pretty pretty good for training you about the the, the um, the data analysis and there is a lot of UX designer that dive into the, the, the data analysis now but it's um, a long long way to how all the UX designer that integrate uh, at the beginning of their mission uh, data analysis so uh, thanks a lot for this uh, flash conference uh, thank you all for listening to me and sorry for uh, errors errors in pronunciation or English grammar. Uh, if you want to contact me, here's, um, here are my contact details. Um, and um, I wish you a lot of courage in these difficult times and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.